Okay, so today we're going to see another block uh, under motion category and uh, it's uh, also of type stack. Okay, stack type, right? So let's drag this particular uh, uh, block. Uh, it's under the motion category and is also under uh, type called stack. That means you can attach any block on a bottom of this or any block on a top of this block. So you can stack one uh, block on a top of another block. Okay, now let's. Uh, okay, so first of all. Uh, when you add your sprite uh, I choose this arrow because it will explain uh, it will be visible more uh, uh, in this particular example so if you go to library and you can see right away if you just uh, yeah, select all and it's right there there is an arrow so you can add or yeah you can add any other sprite you like but this is just for this particular example it will make things more clear so now I'm going to make this uh, particular sprite a little bit bigger so if you can see on the top it says grow shrink right so you can just uh, okay okay sorry you can just click on this and I just uh, you just click keep clicking this uh, sprite as many as time you want and it's now bigger okay so now let's say I'm going to move this block I'm going to use this uh, sprite uh, and I'm going to move 100 steps this particular sprite okay now let's see what happens right so as you can see it's touching this is touching the age so this particular stage uh, has four ages okay one two three and four so when when this sprite touches the age right now is not nothing is happening right it just stays there but in many application in many games many artwork you want to let's say if you have a ball and you is touching any of this uh, uh, age you want to you want that ball to bounce right so this is just one example there are many so in all the games or any application you develop right you always have to do something with the sprite if they if the sprite is touching any of the four ages okay so in this particular uh, example I'm going to now attach this move block to the the this particular block is called if on age bounce okay so now when I double click this entire set of block is going to move 100 step this particular sp sprite and is also going to run when uh, run this particular uh, block saying if on age bounce so let's see if I double click one time it's it's it, uh, moved this sprite to 100 step and it's also checked that oh if if this particular sprite is touching this uh, any of the age no that means that means it's not going to bounce okay so now I'm going to double click again okay right now it's not touching this uh, touching the ages as well so nothing is going to happen now if I double click third time right there it's moving 100 steps and then it's checking oh if if this sprite is touching the uh, any of the age yes it, it, it is it just uh, touched this particular uh, age and it just bounced okay now if I double click it's gonna go to the different direction now you see why I choose the arrow so it just makes more clear now if I if I double click one more time it it touched this particular uh, uh, age and now it turned it bounced back okay now it's going this direction right so it's just keep bouncing between uh, right and left age okay I'm just double clicking this uh, entire block multiple times okay yeah so yeah this is a very straightforward uh, block it's called if on age bounce and we will see a more example of this uh, block in a future videos when we start developing a real games or any other application okay so yeah thanks for watching and uh, see you in uh, future videos